For Windsor residents, funding for Smarts Push North could not come too soon. Citizens here have been paying into the Smart Tax Fund for years. The city has also been carefully designed to get people out of their cars, emphasizing high-density, close-in housing and transportation hubs. In many ways, Windsor has been ready for this moment for quite some time. A town plan that emphasized housing around a central town green and transit hub, now considered the gold standard for transportation planning across the state of California, has been in place here in Windsor for well over a decade. In fact, Windsor's design continues to focus on ecologically friendly development. The downtown train station has been in place since 2007, just waiting for passengers. And new apartments and condos are planned near downtown to encourage walking and public transit. They're going to be within one quarter mile of the smart station, so we're excited to get people out of their cars, walking to a train station and being able to commute within the two counties by train. Although rail line to Windsor exists, the initial $24 million in funding will cover permitting and design work to eventually replace five aging bridges and all of the existing outdated track. This is our opportunity to replace all the infrastructure before we get trains rolling, so we'll replace uh, drainage culverts, all the tracks, the grade crossings, um, and set the system up for years to come. As planned, major construction won't happen until 2020, with paying passengers on board two years later. However, even as that work gets underway, the system is eyeing an extension east, with half a million dollars thrown into the pot by the state to study tying the system to the Amtrak Capital Corridor. It's really doing an inventory of what's out there, looking at opportunities, looking at challenges, environmental challenges, engineering challenges, construction challenges, kind of bringing that all together that would just kind of lay out what could be possible with a passenger rail connection. Fudge says the Smart Board is committed to completing the promised rail line to Cloverdale before any of this happens. But even so, the need for an eventual push east by rail is clear. I'm hearing from people, they're really worried about Highway 37 drowning with climate change and with sea level rise. And so we need an alternate form of transportation in that corridor. And the Smart Train going east would really benefit those people trying to travel through that corridor. While that's being studied, SMART is closely watching the fall ballot. An effort to repeal the new state gas tax threatens $21 million in state funding, more than a third of the money needed to extend the line to Windsor. Passage of Prop 6 could stall this project and others across the state, but for their part, SMART is forging ahead with design work set to begin this fall. In Windsor, Carl Van Amberg for News of the North Bay.